first problem play boys welcome back to another video and if you're new to the channel what's up my name is sean i drive a boosted 2015 honda civic si named dusty i bet you i haven't heard me say that in a long time huh for all the people that do watch me but uh what's up in today's video we're gonna be installing a catch can and a level 7 performance oil cap catch can so this right here is a uh it's an oil cap right and uh, it's a, like a catch can type oil can. I don't even know how to explain what it is, bro. All I do know is that you uh, put it on, you put it in replacement of your uh, your oil cap, and now it turns into like a a uh, what's it called? A vented valve cover, basically. You know how people put the little A in lines on the valve covers, and they have to like drill the bung in and weld it and all that stuff. Well, this eliminates that. I don't have to take off my valve cover to uh, to go drill some bungs in, you feel me? And I don't have to go pay somebody to actually weld it on for me. I just mount this bad boy up, route it to my new cash can, and that's about it. Now, I bought this cash can off of Amazon. I think it was like 60 bucks, came with the AN lines, came with the AN fittings, and I uh, bought the level seven oil cap cash can, or oil cap, whatever it is, vented cap. I bought that from HPT Autosports. I don't know if you guys heard of them. They're also big on eBay and they actually have a website and they do actually ship stuff very, very fast. Shout out to them for like the, one of the best shippings I ever like ever had. I ordered it Friday. I, I didn't get a confirmation saying that it was gonna be shipped. Then I hit them up asking where it's gonna be at, like where is that? And then the next day it said it's shipped. And then two days later it came to my doorsteps. So. That's that's some fast shipping. But let's get into installing this bad boy. It's pretty easy to install. I already got my catch cam all like kind of set up. Um, I did use some Teflon tape for this bung right here so it doesn't leak any oil. Um, after that, you don't have to put Teflon on the AM fittings because they're AM fittings. And then, uh, yeah, I got to make the new ones for this. But first, I have to get this mounted up to the car. And then... Oh yeah, let me explain to you guys how this works. So, they give you three O-rings. And you kind of get to see like which O-ring fits. Obviously, the big one will be for right here. And then the small one, which is like an oval shape, will be for this one. And then it should be one for this. And all of them fit differently. So, you can't get them mixed up, bro. It's super, super easy. Let's get into it. Alright, guys. So, this is how this poster look. If it focus on this side of my face, it's going to look just like this. Um, I have all the oil rings on it. And uh, now all I have to do is take off the oil cap. I don't have a 34 socket, which is like the dumbest tool that you need for this. You need a 34, a 34 mil socket to tie this black piece down. Because this piece on top separates. I'm going to show you guys in a few seconds. Um, but I don't have that. So... We're gonna make a pit stop to uh, AutoZone or Advanced Auto, wherever it's closest, so I can go buy a 32, oh, 34 mil socket, which is so stupid. I have a 32, but a 32 is definitely not gonna fit. It's a 34, sadly. All right, so I'm on a search for a 34 millimeter freaking socket. Good thing I got a gift card, because I ain't paying cash for this. Five minutes later. Well, there goes the socket. 34 mil socket. You guys won't even believe how much I paid for this damn socket. Brother. I literally just paid 21 bucks for a 34 mil socket. Thank goodness I had a gift card, bro. Because I was not about to pay that, dog. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Till the no, no, no. All right, guys. So we're back at the house. Um, got the 34 socket. Now I need to check if it actually fits. Put you guys down real quick. Now I gotta check if this thing fits. I hope I didn't buy the wrong socket. I should have brought this uh this piece so I could check. Oh yeah, we saw it, baby. Let's go. So yep, this is a 34, 34 mil socket. Apparently it's supposed to be torqued down to like, like, I think like 60 pound feet. 
I'm like, yo, I ain't doing that. That thing getting torqued by hat. So I kind of found the spot where I want to put my cash can. Uh, if I just gonna get it there, boom. I want to put it exactly like right there. If the light gives me some justice. Come on, bro. Make it a little brighter for you guys. Ooh, that's too bright. Damn. Alright, so I want to put it right here. So it'll be sitting like low-key in the engine bay that you don't really see it. But yeah, that's kind of where I want it. And uh, y'all probably like, bro, what you gonna do when you have to drain it? Uh, I'm just gonna open it and put a cup underneath. It's not that big of a deal. But yeah, it's pretty easy. Just mount it up right here. Uh, let me see the tabs. Yeah, the tabs are flat. I'm just gonna get my drill. Actually, no. I was gonna drill it, but I'm just gonna use my quick taps, my quick tap screws, and uh, just drill it in. Well, I'm gonna drill one in, and then drill the other, so. Yeah, let's get to doing that. It should be pretty easy. Hopefully, I always say that and stuff turns out to be the hardest thing in the damn world. Jesus Christ. All right, so since I have the cash can basically in, now what I have to do is uh put in the level seven oil cap, which is pretty damn easy. So I took off my hybrid racing one, and now what I'm going to do, hopefully I can do this with one hand. All right, so now I'm gonna take this cap Right down to there. I'm trying to drill something down here. So what I did is I put 3N tape on the back of those uh those tabs and then I zip tied the catch gun itself to the chassis. And it looks pretty clean, it's pretty sturdy, doesn't move too much. Uh, I probably could tighten that more, but once the 3M adheres to the back of this and gets hot, this is not moving at all. Alright guys, so I made a mistake. So this is guard what I just recently said. It's supposed to go exactly like this. So you put the whole bottom piece in, then you thread that black piece in, uh, tying it with your 34 millimeter wrench or socket, sorry. And then you get your cap and you put it on like that. Give me a second. Like that. Boom, yes sir. So now that's secured. Only thing I have to do now is make the A in lines to go to my cash can right here. Um I might take this off and uh go to like AutoZone, see if I can buy like a like a plug or something, because that's just that's just ugly. And uh yeah man, dusty engine bay is gonna look nice, I promise you. I just gotta spend the time just cleaning up stuff and uh I'm definitely replacing this uh, valve cover, but after that, she's gonna look A1. And you guys are probably wondering, why did I go with the blue stuff, like a black or gray? Well, I really needed a cash can, like bad, and um, yeah, they didn't have it in stock. I had emailed them and actually DM'd them on Instagram, and they told me that they'll come back in stock like the end of January. I'm like, yo, I can't wait that long, bro. I want it now. So. That's why I went to HPT. They have four in stock, full of ah, four blue ones, and I copped the one. So now they probably only got like two or three. But yeah, man, that's gonna look really nice when it's finished. All right, guys. So I made one A in line off camera because I kind of forgot how to do it, and uh, just need to refresh my memory. And uh, yeah, I pretty much got it. I'm not gonna explain to you guys how to do it because I'm going to like suck at like explaining that. But it's. It's pretty simple. Well, these are pretty simple. You basically want to get this black piece, the black, the bottom. Ugh, bro, I can't speak. You want to get the bottom black piece that screws off onto the A and the A and line, and then you're gonna push down. I'm gonna explain, it, bro. I'm just gonna put the camera right there, and then you guys watch me, and you guys can probably learn from that. All right, guys. So sorry for the crappy lighting. And uh, sorry for how, for how black I look right now. Is it even focused? Yo, yo, yo. There we go. Let me put the exposure up. Boom. Alright, that's better. Yo. Can you chill out, bro? These dang mosquitoes. But, um... Yeah, so I have mine marked exactly where I'm going to cut it. Um, you, either, you can either use, like, a Dremel... Or 
you could use one of these cutting pliers. Uh, when I say cutting, cutting pliers, I mean this right here. Um, apparently, you're supposed to like tape this up a lot. It helps with uh, with all the fraying that the that the AM fittings, not the AM fittings, that the AM lines do. Well, I need to hurry up on this install because the mosquitoes are out and they are tearing my ass up. But yeah, um, so gonna chop right here and hopefully get a clean cut, bro. Most likely I'm not, just because, just because that's the freaking A and fittings. That's how they are. I mean A and lines. This is why I like to use the rubber ones. There's one that has like a rubber coating instead of this braided line crap. Not the braided line, but the covering that's on top of the braided line. I don't even know what this is called. Um, I guess you could say like the fabric. <laughs> I hate that. It makes cutting so damn difficult. And then you get all the damn fur in your line. You have to blow it out. Pause. And as you can see, the fraying on top, all the fur, if the camera will focus on it. It's not that bad. Come on, focus on that. Yeah, so. Whoa, 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 whoa. Focus on this, my G. So that's not bad. But on the first one I did, I forgot about that method. And I kind of like just went ham. And you can see how much like I effed up. This is the real, real easy part, kind of. If you don't have a table vise, that's, that's the kind of. Um, having one of these makes doing this so easy because it gets tight and you have to tighten it obviously you can't tighten it if it's super tight I mean you could attempt to do it in your hand but every time I try I couldn't do it so brought out the table vise so now I'm gonna put it back in the table vise and now if you don't have an A in a line wrench or I mean and fitting wrench is really really helpful helpful if you do it kind of helps with like you know these mosquitoes are deadly right now but uh the wrench helps with like keeping the am fitting clean like how you see it on like really really nice built cars but this is like my third time using this so i can never ever get clean freaking am fittings all right, guys, and boom. Look at that. That's one side, and here's the other side. So now I'm gonna mount this on the car. The sun is sadly down right now, so I won't be able to show you guys how it looks, but definitely tomorrow, I'm gonna show you guys, but definitely gonna mount this on the car right now, just to get it out the way. So when I do start the video up tomorrow, I could just, you know, Show y'all boys what I'm looking like. You feel me? Cause it ain't look night right now, dog. It ain't look night right now, dog. All right, guys. So it's day number two, and now I get to got. Ah, I get to show you guys what the cash can looks like and the whole setup. It looks pretty freaking nice, bro. I honestly didn't think I was gonna like the blue. I don't know. I kind of don't like it. And I kind of do, just because it's very similar to my blowout valve. But it's not the same color, obviously. But it looks good. It looks really freaking good. I don't know. What you guys think? Now, I did test it out. I did a mean, nasty pull. I'm going to insert the clip here, actually. did a nasty pull on my way home. Uh, coming from like a little get-together for my boy. And I, I was like, let me do a pull. And I did a nasty pull. Did the anti lag hit, all that. And, uh... But, 
all right guys this is where i'm gonna end off the video hopefully you enjoyed it if you did leave a like comment subscribe follow your boy on instagram at underscore got the soda uh if you guys want to go buy a toggle switch i know a lot of people have been hitting me up about it i'm gonna put the link down below or you can just head over to zubigarage.com cop yourself one 35 bucks free shipping can't beat that and uh yeah your boy's out peace